Trying to hop on the Terry. That Bayo Duck Hunt. <laughs> well, I think this sounds fun for like either of the players, the commentator, or the spectator. It's just a <laughs> Now, I don't know very much about Salty Doge's playstyle, but I know that spade is a very, very good Bayo. And Salty Doge does, places pretty well in St. Louis at the tournaments he goes to as well. Getting around it. Again, Deathspay does have the Wisdom experience. Not sure how the play styles differ between Salty Doge and Wisdom, but a very big first early stock coming there from Deathspay off the top. Ooh, and the Witch Time on the can, not able to do much. Damage coming out. Welcome back. That's after this. Woo. Going low for Are that you in wave B, Zafro? I am in wave B. I as well. Best of luck to you. Do you know who you play? D dude, round one. The only Steve ah, let's here. Go. Ooh, Ooh, it takes that stock. Despite with a nice two stock Great lead here, only at 84%. Well, Steve Doge going to need to do a little bit to get back. Ooh, gets caught up top again, oh, just like he did in the very first stock, and oh it does take God. it, and a very, very fast third stock there from Death Spade, taking this game stock one? very quickly. Yeah, that happened stock oh one, too. Oh my goodness, 42%. Whoops. I know Duck Hunt likes to recover high, but that's so dangerous against yeah. Bayonetta. It, I think just coming into this, Death Spade definitely had far more uh, Duck Hunt experience than Doge has Bayo experience, knowing a little bit about the two scenes, being right here in the middle. But we are seeing the run back, both characters staying the same. Back on PS2. Ooh. That's within. I nice job shooting the guns there. And oh my goodness. The witch time on the no explosion, idea. that That's great timing on that, works. learning that. Yeah, it works on projectiles, especially explosions like that. It's scary. For sure. I saw catching with the disc. Yeah, that's what they did. Maybe Doing a little bit better getting caught in these combos once again. SDI away. Still able either. to get out of it a little bit there. Far better than he was. Ain't good. Beautiful tech to tech. stay alive, but no. doesn't get the second one. And again, a quick early lead for uh, for Death Spade here. Ooh, that F smash not connecting. I might have killed Bayonet. Ooh, the combo into the can all the way up at 127. Salty Doge doing a much, much better closer. job here. That's keeping it close and takes Woo, the, this the smash, smash just barely misses. Either. I thought that was going to hit. I really did. <laughs> Salty Do Doge has got to feel a Good witch time. Nice job getting the shield out just back in time though. Back throw at 157. No. Still not enough to take wow. it. Duck Hunt throws are just a little I weak. Thought duck Hunt back throw was better than that. And the throw into the can. Beautiful Great timing. Throw, okay. Very, very smart move by Salty Doge. And this game is about even at two stocks here. Did he beat him? He has a Oh, is he in my pool? Yeah. Nice. That'd be cool. Back air. Game's definitely much closer than game one. Yeah, absolutely. Doge did a very good job adapting. Definitely not. I can't be mad about it, but I could have been What was the set count? Did you play Jerry What characters? Oh, Trip. Not Joe. Trip. Uh, oh, true. Who do you use? Uh, he is uh, game one out. Game Woo! Yep, it does and take it off the top, but both at 94, 95% here. Very, very close very game two compared to the dominating game one, and Doge does have the lead Play in this last stock here. Back air. Adapting very, very well from that first game. Just needed that to learn the player, I guess. Doing a great job of being aggressive here and avoiding the F smash and the up smash. Send himself off stage, but do a job staying around him, playing around these long smash attacks by Bayo. And getting big damage up here, all the way up to 56. Ooh, great spot dodge to avoid that up tilt. Goes for the balls to the wall, F smash, gets up smashed in return, but all the way up at 0% for 77. Doge gonna have to do a lot to get back here, yeah. Ooh. 
gets taken off stage and misses the tech that time. Off stage, this is where Bayo loves to play, but gets out of it. Is the up B gonna make it back? And the unfortunate SD by Death Spade giving this second game to Salty Doge, who definitely played a lot better in this second game than the first one, but not necessarily taking that win commandingly at the end there with the, de with the Spade SD. But we are going game three, running it right back onto PS2, as expected, as most people are probably gonna do. I'm a fan of changing it up a little bit. I think they have all, there's so many stages in the game, may as well use them. Yes. I understand people wanting to just stay with what they're comfortable on. And both of these players taking game on this stage, so definitely both comfortable on it. Early 4, 56%. On nice combos yeah, coming out. So, Salty Doge here, big damage at the start. I think the big thing is the big thing about that first game, why Deathspade won it so randomly, was just those Bayo combos dealing big damage and unfortunately not being able to SDI or anything out of them at the top, not necessarily knowing how they work, doing a great job of adapting and not really getting caught in any of them anymore. Also being able to deal a bunch of damage himself on these combos that he wasn't hitting. Salty Doge showing that they do know how to fight against Bayonetta. Yeah, absolutely. Very Maybe the well. first game was just conditioning. Oh, but does get caught in that combo. Not able to die from it, though. Oof. Stays alive, only at 73. A bit closer here after that ammo big combo, though. And Death Spade running all the way up on him. Has him off stage and does take that first barely. stop. Just barely. Good DI by Salty Doge to almost stay out. And almost killing at 142. But, right. And almost killing Still staying alive, 159. One big hit will do it here, but we'll see if Deathspade's able to get any damage. Some extra credit here before getting Salty Doge onto the stock. Uh. Is that DI or SDI to kind of escape that first kick of ABK? Because Salty Doge broke out of it at zero. Ooh. Gets out of that one really well, too. Learning something after that game caught so much that first game, and it is even here, only a 54% difference. Some of these combos he's been doing, his duck gun, have been doing about that much damage in the first place. So, just one big Catch hit away from doing it. Gotta conserve, gotta save the Ooh, moment. Carries his own can there. Gets caught with the disc, nice little combo. Game getting much closer as we're going. Not as even as can be. Right, game absolutely. Three. Here in Game 3, another very, very hot Game 3 set. We've had so many on the stream so far, but we'd love to see out of a big stacked tourney like this, especially with so many of these matchups being Kansas City versus St. Louis. There's a lot of talk who's seen yes. is better. Of course, St. Louis has Apollo Kage, but he's away at main stage right now, so this is uh, the St. Louis's chance to really prove themselves, all the rest of them, against Kansas yes. City's big names. Each of them wanting to make a name for themselves with Columbia stuck in the crossfire. Right, absolutely. And what better place to do it than on the Zafro TTV stream, am I right? <laughs> Rolls into it, gets caught. All the way up at 134 here, both characters at high damage. Misses the up air no though to take the stock. Conversion. And we'll see if Deathspade can capitalize on staying alive here. Deathspade doing nice a great job around. of making sure Can is not near them. Oh, gets caught by it, but good DI staying alive. If you know how Kane works, it's pretty easy to stay alive. And having so much but a great play by Salty Doge here. And he does have the stock lead up at 85%, so a couple hits will kill. I'm trying to see if they can take the stock off the top again, but oh, nice job to get out of it. Beautiful area. Salty Doge doing a much better job getting out of these Bayonetta combos than they did in this first game. Not quite sure what was going on there, but obviously it's working better now. But 110% on this eight. second stock though, so it's still very close of to an even game, but which time will make it even. Here is 0%, last stock, game three. This is what we love. That's within to escape, Clay Pidgeot. And you know, I didn't think I'd be this excited about a Bayonetta Duck Hunt game, <laughs> but I'm having fun commentating this. This you is know, a great set to watch. Very interesting sets. Olimar, Simon was intense. Bayo, Duck Hunt's intense. It's beautiful. Right, absolutely. Smash Bros. at its finest. Getting combos here all the way up to 89%. Deathspin doing a good oh, job in the can. Delaying the down smash enough so it doesn't get hit. Yes. Oh, gets the witch time. Oh, After not throw. gonna take it enough, but it gets him off stage. Good job getting out of the combos. Gets brought back to stage, but just doing some extra damage. All the way up to 119. Salty Doge is not out of this. But Bayo at 60, a big combo. Death can't oh, still do it. Back, there. back to stage. 142. All the way up to 142, though, so Salty Doge is gonna have to play perfect. Yes, this is where Bayonetta are struggling, though. Bayonetta doesn't have a Oh, the back air Beautiful. will take it. And Deathspay takes the set in a very, very close 2 game. 1. 3, 2 1. Hot set. All the, oh, I put that on the wrong person. My bad. 
But that was a very great set all the way around. Huh? That was a very hot set. Alright, Pool B is starting, so we will have probably some new people on the comms while I'm playing. But we'll see who's going up, how it's going. You want to take over stream? Oh yeah, Jay Plane's coming to take over. Do you know how to say which game is on stream? Oh, yeah. uh, which game? So, oh, yeah. I, I, uh, go whichever pool it is. Say it's pool 2. Oh, I pressed on like, the results. You click on the TV, click Zafro TTV, and save. Okay. And then you can also edit match and put in scores like that. Cool. 